Hey guys, it's Melody Lane. I'm gonna show you how to add your finished picture to your canvas in Cricut Design Space. So when you're looking through your projects, you'll see the finished project. You are watching Melody Lane. With me, you're gonna have a great crafting time. So I bought an image from Dreaming Tree and I downloaded it and I put it over here to the left. This is the actual this is what we're making, and I want to be able to see that when I'm looking through my projects. And here's the SVGs, so I need to upload all of these SVGs and the picture. So let me show you what we're doing. I'm going to click on Upload right here, and as you can see, I've already started uploading it. This has more than one image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Upload and Finish Uploading, and we're just going to drag and drop them. I already have six of them uploaded, so I'm just going to drag that there. And I'm going to add the name Hi Cynthia to it. Hi Cynth. So we're going to click Save. Oh, I uploaded that one twice. Let's delete it. We don't need that one twice. Okay, let's try that again. Upload. I'll open this up. And now we just have these three left. Let's just drag and drop that there. You can only do one at a time like this, but we're going to put them all in the same file in Cricut Design Space 3. So click Upload again, open up this up, save, upload again, and this is our last one. Okay, now we have one more thing to upload so we know what it looks like. So I'm going to click Upload, and I'm just going to upload the picture of it. And I'm just going to click Complex. I just want the picture as it is. So I'm just going to hit Continue. There's no cleaning up to do at all. And we want to save it as a print and cut, because we don't want just that square. Because we're not actually going to cut this out or print it. And it's a nice big image, so it's taking a little bit of time. You can see Design Space is thinking. Okay, now we got the picture right here. So now I want to upload all of these to our project and click Insert Images. So now we have all of these, and if we just want to save this for later and be able to cut it out later, I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. Okay, and I want to save this. Save it as that, and I'm going to put Dreaming Tree so I know where I got it. And I'll know where to get the directions for it. I can look that up, and he has a video for all of his projects. So click Save. Project is saved. So let's go back to my projects. And here it is. So I know that when I click this, that is my finished project. And I can click that. I can click that. And there, it shows all of the pieces I have uploaded and the picture. Now let's open that up. Now when we want to cut this, we're going to click on the eye here because we don't really want to cut that piece out. On here, this has cut lines right here, but they're dashed. You can change them to score lines if you like. Change it to score because that's where they will score. They're still there, but it's hard to see on this color. But you also want to select them both. So they're both selected and attach. So go down here and attach. So now they're attached. Let me see if I can change the color. So there. I changed the color so you can see the lines. With SVGs from Dreaming Sheet, make sure you attach them. Otherwise, they're not going to be on the same image. So we would need to take these and change that to score. And they're both selected. We're going to click attach. There we go. And the same with all the other ones. You can always move these out of the way. Sometimes you can zoom this out. Move the ones you have finished out of the way. And then these, I like to change to score. And then 
attach. In Design Space 3, when selecting an item, you don't have to put a box around the whole item. I can just cover that little bit of area and it will select everything that little box touched. So I can change that to score and I want to select it and attach. So that's it. And then when I want to save it again, I want to bring back the picture. Here it is. Let's click the eye. Let's save. Project saved. And go back to my projects. See, now it shows all of this over here. It's best to put all of these underneath the picture. So let's do that. Let's make that small again. We're going to put this to arrange it to the top. Move to front. And everything else can go underneath it. Let's just select it all. Move it. There. Now this is all that will show on the canvas. Let's save. Project saved. Let's go back to my projects. And there we go. Nice big picture. All right. And that's it, guys. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below and I will answer all your questions. Thanks for watching. And here's a shout out to a few of the people who support me on Patreon. Thanks, guys. Bye. Lori, Lena, Lisa, Kathy, Sandy, Kyle, Glenda, Vivian, Stacy, Dan, Carla, Deborah, Jody, Marty, Cheryl, Patricia, Sandy, Carol, Denise, Michelle, Carrie, Bonnie, Melissa, Donna, Nancy, Andy, Rhonda, Joy, Trish, Jerry, Becky, Fia, Sue Ann, Stephanie, Jennifer, Bonnie, Janice, Bibi, Mary, Kimberly, Lynn, Lydia, Patricia, Tabitha, Vivian, Tamika, Selena, and Misty. You are watching Melody Lane. Gonna have a great crafting time